Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm the creator of the Origin 17. It is a 17-port HDMI switch box with a touchscreen display and remote control, and I'd love to show it to you now. This is what it looks like. Uh, on the main menu here, you can see I've got the Xbox 360 selected, and there it is up on my TV. If I want to change to another input, uh, let's say I'm ready to play some PlayStation 3, all I do is touch it, and there's the PlayStation 3. Let's say I want to play some original Nintendo, feeling retro. And there it is. That, of course, is an HDMI modded Nintendo. All right. I don't think it gets too much easier than that. Uh, yeah, it's much better than, you know, going over to somebody's house and having to switch the TV to input three and a uh, switch box to input two and another switch box to input four. Uh, this, you know, anybody can come over. They don't need to know uh, how I've got things wired. They can just come right to the Origin, touch the device that they want, and they're off and playing. Uh, I think it uh, doesn't get too much better than that uh, when it comes to user friendliness. All right, I'm going to show you some of the customizations uh, in the menu here. If you don't like my color scheme, you're welcome to choose your own. You can customize the colors. Uh, the second column is for programming infrared remote controls. Um, you can use just about any infrared remote. Uh, I've been using this one here. Uh, but it should work with uh, just about anything. Uh, I've also programmed it to work with a cable box remote. Uh, you can program buttons to jump to specific inputs or uh, cycle through them, previous and next. Uh, and there's a power button option for programming uh, the uh, screen to turn on and off. Uh, the screensaver function I've got off for the purposes of this video, uh, but if it was on, uh, the screen would turn off after 10 seconds. Uh, this blanks option, I'll show you what that does. Right now, blanks are shown. So on the main menu, you can see next to Xbox One, I've got these blank cells. Uh, what that is, is it's showing the physical arrangement of devices. So Apple TV is input one, Super NES is input four, so on. Uh, Xbox One would be 10, and this blank would be 11. So I don't have anything hooked up to port 11 right now. Uh, if I turn blanks to hidden, then it's gonna move those PlayStation devices up to fill in the gaps. That's just a personal preference thing. Uh, some people like seeing the physical arrangement and some people like having everything clustered together. So, it, your call. Uh, label inputs is how you add and remove devices. I'm gonna come in here, let's say I'm adding something to port 11. Uh, I'm, somebody's come out with an HDMI mod for an Atari, which I would love to have, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna type in Atari on the on-screen keyboard. Push okay, exit. I'll save the changes. This saves them permanently to the SD card so that it's internal to the device. So if we lose power or turn it off and on, it will come back this way. Uh, and now I've got an Atari button. Okay, so you get the idea there. Uh, this is what the back of one looks like. I've made three of these so far. Um, I would love to make some more, but they are very labor intensive uh, and time consuming. So I wanna see what these are worth to people before I invest too much in it. Uh, I am paying retail price for the components here. I'm not, you know, any big distributor or anything like that. I'm a hobbyist. I'm a full-time IT professional and a full-time dad, so I just do this whenever I can as a hobby. Um, the case for this is 3D printed. I had to learn how to do uh, 3D modeling and printing in order to produce this device. Um, and the, you might be wondering about these cables here. What this is, is jumpers. Uh, the Origin device is made up internally of uh, four uh, five-port HDMI switches. So uh, the first ports, one through five, are one switch, and the A port here is the output of that switch. So to get the signal from port five to your TV, it has to come through this jumper from A down to the A port on the bottom switch, and then in internally in the device I've got an Arduino controller uh, which is telling it to, you know, go to this port to get, you know, that port out. So, um, I know some people may be upset, upset about the um, external jumper cables. Uh, I did try making them internal, but like I said, it's already labor intensive. It got even more labor intensive to do that. Uh, and I did have some signal quality issues uh, when I made the connections internally. Uh, so it was just a much better solution all around to go with the exterior jumper cables uh, And you can see that once it's in the entertainment center, uh, you don't even know that those cables are there. So um, I hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think uh, and uh, I hope to produce some more of these. Thanks